hi everyone hope that you are well welcome back to a new video in today's video i want to speak about the lighting energy numeric indicator a short abbreviation known as lenny um, for this office we will do i will do a comparison between an led solution versus a um, classical one on um, let's say uh, fluorescent lamps and see the energy uh, which both systems are consuming and as well what does it mean from the energy pot potential savings to add also like present uh, detector in both cases uh, to establish or to maximize uh, rather the energy uh, savings that we can achieve for this office space. But before I will dive into more details related to dialogues, how you calculate, I want shortly to e explain what does it mean Laney. The abbreviation, as mentioned earlier, is coming from Lighting Energy Numeric, numeric Indicator. Um, you, we can see the formula here and below we can see all the parameters which are um, in the, taken in account to uh, establish the Lighting Energy Numeric Indicator. A very important detail is that the Lenny is according to the um, European standard EN 15193, which is related to energy performance of buildings. In our days, we speak about more and more efficient building, <clears throat> green buildings, um, and we need to reduce as much as possible um, the energy consumption in office, commercial, and as well education, um, and the, en the energy um, via uh, let's say artificial light so we need to establish or planning smart solution related to artificial lighting and of course one criteria should be as most efficient as possible so in the first case we we will go for a um, lead solution we can see all the details of the luminar uh, below in this picture so we have a luminar uh, luminous flux of 4000 700 um, power consumption and then luminous efficacy and of course being an office we need to have a 500 lux which we, we achieve an UGR as well below 19 and <clears throat> on the on the light you need to go on the energy consumption actually you just click on it and then based on the standard which I showed you early in the in the picture EN 15193, all these values are being taken practically based on the lighting fixture and calculated based on the use time, um, not absence, for example, based actually on the profile of the space that you define. For example, if you choose in, in remaining on the same, let's say, type of application office, but you change, for example, a reception desk, automatically the values will be will be recalculated here or for example if you change our just nursery you see that automatically all the values are being recalculated so this value were taken or the calculation behind of this um, uh, <coughs> have been taken from the from the from the norm which i mentioned that is based on the on the lady so here we will go back on the cut works so all the information have been updated and then i will say if you want to add display energy tachometer for example you just click on it and here this you have a set limit of 2000 kilowatt hour per year and with the current solution we can see how much actually our lighting system is um is consumed actually and what is important also you see the lenny so the light energy numerator is between 9 and 40 kilowatt hour per year per square meters and then you see also the cost of course you have additional options you can set a limit which in this case we have a limit of 35 if you are wondering from where is coming this limit i want to show the other benchmark values and lighting design criteria and you see for type of application in this case we have an office this is again i just made a print screen from the um, en 50193 and you see the value here 
of the landing 35.3 so we are in the CTE actually limit where we have an auto and for this space we we need to fulfill this value and if you go back actually this is the value which we can see also in Dialux so Dialux was working very much let's say based on what the standards is um, recommending and here we have the price uh, as well you can set up a limit but yeah we can see how much we pay actually for one just for one space good let's so here we don't have any control system it's just light on off and that's it if we insert a detector into the space then we have also possible to choose kind of setup so if you are on off manually uh, switching on manually dimming or switching on manually and switching off automatically I think this should be implemented and then you can also check constant regulation light regulation available and then I will just do also the calculation just to see if we fulfill also the 500 trucks that which are required for this space so we see here actually that we have the 540 and also the all the values are being achieved so yeah that's all it now we can have the overview of this space of course <clears throat> if we use direct indirect light there yeah, we have or uh, more light which is lost but at this moment I like as I said more brightness to be close to the feeling of uh, let's say natural daylight uh, approach into into that space so just not have one single component of direct light for the for the entire office and here if you want to put a absence space 0.5 let's see if something is changing yeah so you see how much how much is changing the the um, consumption per year in this case so if we have just zero that's that's a lot so in that moment of course um the detector is not really helping because you all the time is someone in the light maybe will not be dim so yeah here you can just put like let's say eight hours per day is working eight hours close then the consumption is this way so that's a very nice overview when you want to compare let's say you or you do a calculation of refurbishment so now i will go on the classical solution let's see what we obtain in terms of um, energy consumption um, so this will be I'll uh, just apply so it's direct indirect same let's say outcome should be uh, related to the, the atmosphere of the of the room let's see if of course we can meet the 500 flux and after that let's see the energy consumption so i would say it, <clears throat> the trend is energy saving more and more our days then we didn't need to take in account how much it um, it's consuming so here 310 only so it's very very low oh oops, sorry i need to put a mistake i need to change just the height of installation because in this case it's on, it's show on the ceiling so is that's not the case it's 2.9 like the other ones then i'll just restart the calculation let's see in 3d yeah now should be okay and let's start once again the lighting simulation i'm curious to see if how close we'll be on the on the on the lux level yeah so as expected we are below with the conventional lighting 
Um, here it's all the characteristic of the luminaire. So we use a TL5, which are the most efficient uh, fluorescent lamps, 49 watts. And we are 90 lux, let's say below the minimum required by the norms um, related to the lighting level, which we need to achieve for an office space. And if I move now to the lighting, let's see, once again, here I think we had the maximum 2000 in the previous calculation, I will just establish the same, uh, to have the better of a view, so here you see, in the previous, I think we were on 810, and here we are already, yeah, we need to pay, I think it was up to 200, so here we pay almost double, almost double, I would say, mm -hmm. uh, if you check the costs, and also the kilowatt hour per, so also maximum 35, we are on 24, so we are close also to the maximum value allowed. And if I need to fulfill the 500, I would just say let's add another row. In this case, we will place, let's say, four, just to achieve the 500 lux. So that's really interesting to see the final values when we run another calculation. By the way, please subscribe to, to my channel, give a thumb up, thumbs up to, to this video. If you find this information useful, yeah, follow the other videos um, from my channel. And yeah, if you have comments, please, please uh, let your comment into the comment box. I will just add also the link to the, um, to the um, EN 50193, which is the standard for the energy performance, if you want to know more. And yeah, which value have been included from that uh, standard to Dialux. Okay, now we have the 500 lux. Uh, let's see the Lenny where we are related to the... So we are already on the maximum of 2000. So here it's even, yeah, we are more than double with the conventional uh, solution versus the LED related to the payment. Uh, also the lane is 32, where the maximum is 35. So we, we are really on the edge of, yeah, not fulfilling actually the energy performance and also on the, on the cost. Yeah, we are very, very expensive with this solution related to energy. Um, energy efficient and how much we need to pay for energy per year. Um, and now nowadays we we know the problem with energy that is just getting more expensive so definitely we need to be very careful when we we choose a lighting solution and definitely we need to use um, the most efficient light source which is the led in this moment so hope that you like this video once again that was um for everything from my side related to the lighting uh, energy numeric indicator i think that looks made a good job that you can see how you can just make um, a calculation and estimate the costs of um, of the energy per year for that space. Imagine you have a big office building, then it will be a lot of uh, money which we need to pay by end of the year for only for the artificial light. I would say for energy, energy for the artificial light. Yeah. So I wish you all the best. Until next time, take care of you. Bye bye.